the images of prisoner abuse at Abu Ghraib when they became public. And now we're hearing or learning that there are more pictures of detainee abuse, many arguing they should also be made public. President Obama wants to keep them under wraps. Do you agree with his decision? No, but I respect what his uh, decisions are. I don't have the responsibility to deal with the consequences. But I think the, most of his supporters were hoping that he would be much more open uh, in the revelation of what we've done in the past. You don't agree with that point because he's made it, many in the military have made it, that it does fuel anger at American troops and could endanger them more. Well, I think it's hard to realize how much anger there already is based on the revelations that have already been made. And, and any knowledgeable person within the Arab world or around the rest of the countries on Earth know that these uh, pictures exist. They can now only imagine how bad they are and maybe the uh, actual publication of them wouldn't exacerbate an already bad situation. Weigh in, if you will, on, on the torture debate. Uh, what about prosecuting Bush administration officials who approved waterboarding uh, and other harsh interrogation tactics? You know, there's a real split in your party about this issue. What do you think? Well, I think uh, prosecuting is too strong a word. What I would like to see is a, a complete uh, examination of what did happen, the identification of any uh, perpetrators of crimes against our own laws or against international law, and then after the, all that's done, decide whether or not there should be any prosecutions. But the, uh, the revelation of what did happen, I think, is what I would support. When a former U.S. president says that it was a mistake not to release all the documents around torture and abuse, we ought to heed that U.S. president. He sat in that same Oval Office. He understands that the only way to make sure this never happens again is by holding people accountable. 